Hey guys, Johnny from Badger Gear and Survival, and tonight we're going to talk about budget fire tools. Let's do this. Alright guys, what I want to do first is tell you what I do carry. I carry five different ways to start a fire at any time in both of my packs. I have two different packs. Future video, but five different ways. I carry a lighter, some waterproof matches, and then the three I'm going to show you. Those first two is easy. Go find a lighter, go find some waterproof matches and carry them. What I started out with was, I didn't really start out with, but I do, I did get it for a video, was this Bear Grylls Survival system. It's a, it's a ferro rod, it has a striker, has a whistle, it has some good information on it, but it wasn't quite budget. This was $18 I think I paid for this, or maybe a little less than that, right around that price point. So that wasn't really budget. What I should have gone with first is, what I'm going to show you is this. <laughs> I'm glad I found this. This is a 3 8 by 5 inch ferro rod. And this thing tosses sparks. I mean, you guys kind of saw how I did that one, but this one here is. And that's pretty effortless. And that's what we're kind of getting at right now is this budget stuff. This was $6 off Amazon for a single, but we found them off of other websites for two bucks, three bucks a piece if you buy them in bulk. The next thing I want to talk about is another fire tool or fire starting tool is petroleum jelly balls. Petroleum jelly balls. Super easy to make, guys. It's just big cotton balls. You dip one, I actually dipped one side in the Vaseline because I didn't want to make a mess. So it didn't burn. I mean, it, it'll burn, but it'll burn a little slower. I kind of played with the, the ingredients a little bit. So you might want to do that too. But you just dip it in some petroleum jelly. Take an old, huge, military grade 800 milligram ibuprofen container. Just put them in there. This is what we use 90% of the time to start a fire, by the way. It sparks easy, stays lit, burns super hot, and we've started this in all sorts of conditions. Great tool to carry and cheap. Petroleum jelly, two, three bucks. 500 count cotton ball, two, three bucks. Now you have 500 different fires to start. The last thing I do carry, another really easy thing to make, but it's going to be a future video, is char cloth. That's 100% cotton charred. And all you can do is you can start numerous ways. You can start with your ferro rod, your big thick ferro rod, or you start with flint and steel. It doesn't burn, it doesn't burn real hot, so you're gonna need a bird's nest to do it. But if you have a good kindling setup, you just kind of get it started. It burns a long time. It burns, it starts really easy. And it's a great item to have. I carry this, I carry all five in both this pack and my main pack too. So I have ways to start a fire at all times. All right, guys, I want to start with is some char cloth. I do carry it in a, an Altoids tin, just how I cooked it. But I pulled some out it's kind of fragile, so I didn't want to uh, break it up too much and ruin my gear. So I'm going to start with this guy. All it takes is a little bit, depending upon how, you know, depending on how wet the conditions are and that kind of stuff and your, your fire starting conditions. So this little guy here, a little bit, point right there. Take my mora or my mora and my ferro rod. There we go. If you guys can see that, that's really hot, by the way. <laughs> and all you do is take it, put it in a bird's nest, and you blow on it. You see how much that burns? I don't know if you guys can still see that or not, but super hot, burns suit really, really nice. Another great tool. This is this is one of my backups to lighters and matches. But if you had to, that'll save your life, guys. Next thing we're gonna do is a PJB. 
Like I said, it's just petroleum jelly. Your normal stuff you guys have at your house. Ooh, they're all stuck together. Nice. Take some of that stuff there. And do be careful. Make sure it's not in your hands. That'll, uh, <laughs> that'll go up sometimes. Take your striker or your knife and your, your ferro rod. That's it. See how long that will burn too? I mean, we're not going to show you the whole thing, but maybe we will. How long that burns? It burns really hot too. Oh, and water. And that's that's pretty much it, guys. That's all you're gonna need. You're gonna need a ferro rod, some homemade stuff like this, a little char cloth, and you're gonna have some fire to survive on. All right, guys. There you have it. Five budget tools for five, six bucks. You start unlimited fires. Great way to increase your survivability and your chances of surviving in a situation. Thank you so much for watching. Click the like and subscribe button. Drop some comments below for this video or any future videos. And until next time, make yourself ready. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I got something else to say. We just talked about survivability a little bit. And what can increase your survivability is this pack here. Oh, guess what? We're doing a giveaway August 1st. $75 value. How do you get in that giveaway? Click that subscribe button. Let me tell you what you're getting. You're getting a pack exactly like this. I'm going to tell you what's in that pack. You're gonna get some mountain house food, a couple packs of that. Great, great thing addition, great addition to your pack. Some fire starting equipment like I showed you tonight. A cool schmog, this patch, a more companion knife, and a bear grills survival kit. That video is tomorrow night. Go ahead and review that. You get that, and guess what? All you do is click subscribe. Why not? Make yourself ready.